who are the Volturi other than the who most... Who are you? <laughs> I thought you were going to say that. No, other than the most fashionable vampires in the world. Well, the Volturi is sort of like the equivalent of the vampire royal family slash government slash mafia. We kind of, uh, whenever a vampire steps out of line or breaks the rules, uh, they come to us for judgment and for punishment. And Edward comes to you to ask permission to kill himself, right? Something along those lines, yeah. So why not just let him do it? Well, it's a big deal. Vampire killing themselves. Mm. We are eternal, infinite creatures. And so we've known the Cullens before. We know the, we know the, the Cullens Cullen, We have a very close connection with the Cullens. Mm. Yes, that's right. So uh, it's no easy matter. And we sort of want them to become part of our, our family, our clan. Well, who are the men? They have great powers. What's not to like about it, mm. personally? They have the power to create great beef stew. And we want them to become part of our The Volturi set. beef stew recipe. Oh, yeah. Is that going to be on the DVD? There's it's a cookbook it's coming, coming out. It's in the Twilight cookbook. Twilight cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll have to pick that up stuff. at the library. Mm. You guys have a unique perspective on this whole insane phenomenon, uh, you know, watching it from the outside and then being thrust into it. Uh, what is your perspective on it? It's truly amazing knowing that we're not technically in the movie yet. It's not out, so it's, it's pretty amazing to know what's going on and the fans and everything. It's insane. <laughs> is it beyond what you expected? Not really. Not after the success of the first one in the books. I think we all knew what we were going into. And I think, you know, the second one is so highly anticipated because it's the second in a series of films that people hold so close to their hearts. I think we all knew at the time that it was going to going to be such a you know, big phenomenon. Um, I mean, at least I did. I don't, I don't know. But that's not why I got involved in it. Did shooting it in, in Italy help uh, shape your performance at all? Did it make you a little more Arrogant. <laughs> Only one of us got to go to Italy, and I think the arrogance factor was very hard <laughs> in that. Um, we, because of all of our stuff being the interior stuff, they didn't need to take us to Italy. Oh, it was you. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, arrogance. What? Who was it? And, and would you mind saying what you brought back to the rest of us as gifts from Italy? Yes. Please. Do. Nothing. Nada. Zil. <laughs> Nothing. Hence the arrogance. Virtue, yeah. I was only there for a few days, and it was uh, it was beautiful so to get to yeah. <laughs> excuse me. Had a day off to shop, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I did actually. Yeah. I, did. I got a Pinocchio statue or two from the Pinocchio store. Who got that? I did. <laughs> <laughs> so you brought back a gift for yourself? <laughs> no, I brought back a gift for my my family. Okay. Not what your are we vampire family. Up? <laughs> I can sense dissension in the Volturi already. <laughs> Cracks in the walls. Yeah, yeah. indeed. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.